Welcome everyone to another episode and will, what will hopefully be the final episode of my Super Mario Brothers solo playthrough, blind playthrough, the All-Stars Edition. And there you go, the first death of the episode. We're in World 8, the final world of the game. So here we go. How many attempts, how many lives, how many continues and retries? Will it be just one? I already have one death, so it can't be one. Oh no. Okay. So I'm expecting this level to be very tough because it's the last one. Whoa, I almost died there. Hey, how come you didn't die? Okay. Just slow things down. Is there anything here? Nothing? That? Stay down. This is suspicious to tell you that. Hey, what's that? I hit a block. Oh! Wow, the timer's already down to 9 seconds. Okay, you better hurry. <laughs> what do you know? A star! Let's go! Whoa, whoa! Okay. You have 45 seconds left. Better hurry. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I made it. 25 seconds. Whoa, whoa, that's very close. 8 seconds. We made it. With 5 seconds left on the clock. That was a close call. I've never... I never had a death because of time constraints. Because of time running out. And there's the asshole. The one that's throwing spike turtles from the cloud. He's gonna get me. No mushrooms? No mushrooms. There's your mushroom. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's close. Give me that shroom. Yeah. I recently found out that. That's not a. That's, it's a one-up. It's not a mushroom that makes you grow tall. Okay. There's a mushroom that makes you grow tall. Uh, am I right that the name of that bullet that comes out is asshole? Bullet Bill. And there's the second death. Okay, so back from the start. checkpoints so far. Whoa. At least I had that one up. Let's get it. Let's get it back. As long as I keep getting that one up, it means that I have infinite lives for this area of the game anyway, for this level. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, don't lose that one up. And I lost it. Huh, that was tricky. Four lives is still... It's not a bad life count, I think. Okay. Oh, I did not step on his head. I missed that. Okay, let's get it this time. Give me that one up, yeah. So is it really bullet bill? Whoa, I, I don't know how I got that one. I thought I was dead. 
let's try to preserve big Mario here. Whoa, jump! Okay, set firing. No hidden areas so far. Maybe I missed one. Whoa! Oh yeah! Got that tricky area down. There's the hidden area. Give me those coins! Sneaky way. Ah, forget it. I don't have time to mess with you there. It's so hard to collect 100 coins. Have I done it in my playthrough? I'm not sure. But I'm guessing in the NES version of the game. Damn it. In the NES version of the game, since you have no retries, no continues when you run out of lives, it's essential that you get 100 coins. To keep adding lives. A2 is down, so this is the last platforming level. The last one that is outside the castle. There we go, and speaking of the castle, we can see the castle walls in the background. Oh no, it's those assholes again. You're dead. No mushroom? No nothing? No fun. Oh, there you go. There's the mushroom. Okay. Hopefully, we can maintain Big Mario till the end of the level. Maybe even get some fire, fire power going. Oh no, more of this. These. Ah. Come on. Okay, I did kill them, but it cost me. My big Mario status. No mushrooms anymore, too. Okay. You just have to deal. Oh no. Bye bye. Oh no, another one. Ah! I ran too close. Whoa, I, I almost died there. Okay, you're dead. Everyone, as you can see, there was an abrupt blackout a few seconds ago. So in the recording, there was a glitch, and which is why this uh, audio from me now, my commentary right now, is post-recording. From that point where the screen went black until later, which I will tell you, all my commentary will be post-recording. And I didn't know at the time that my voice was not being recorded. So, it's gonna be interesting because this is gonna be the first time I'm actually watching my own playthrough comment on. So I got the big mushroom there. And uh, there's Bullet Bill successfully stepping it on. And the Hammer Bros. I, I think in Super Mario Brothers 1, the Hammer Bros are the toughest enemy. And I think I got lucky there because when the first Hammer Bro, he was gonna jump down, but I jumped first. So I was able to kill him in that instance. And I finally got the fireball power. But you know, it's always very useful against everything. Very valuable. I have here 65 seconds to make it to the end of the level. And I think I will make it. It's not gonna be a problem. And there you go. It's now gonna be 8-4, the final level of the game. Well, if you notice, there are still a lot, a lot of minutes in <laughs> in this episode. So I think you can see what's gonna happen in this attempt of mine to finish the game. And 
if I could bring the fireball power to, you know, Bowser, then it would be excellent. So this final level is actually some sort of a mixture of the previous castle levels. You have this guessing game on which pipes to enter. Because if you enter incorrectly, like what I did there, it will take you back to the starting point of the level. After the first pipe, that's the starting point. So I successfully found the first correct pipe, which is after the, the fire area. This is gonna be area number two. It's time to locate the next pipe. And I was trying to enter that one, but as you can see, it couldn't be entered. So this is also gonna be a wrong pipe. It, it took me back to the beginning of the area, like what I told you, right? The starting point. So pipe number one is after this fire pit, if you will, right here. That pipe here, this pipe here cannot be entered. The next pipe is wrong, that's what I entered before. And then I decided maybe there's another one after the fire, so why not go there first? And lo and behold, there was a hidden block there. Of course, if you have a hidden block that leads to somewhere, to a pipe, then you can safely assume that that pipe is the correct one. And I can't believe I got hit by that flying fish there. So that's it. My fireball powers disappeared. And I also entered the wrong pipe. It couldn't have happened any worse. Suck that I lost my fireball. So again, first pipe is after the fire pit. The next pipe is the one with the hidden block, as you can see here. And I almost got killed by the turtle there. Okay, so the hidden block is just around here. There you go. And just like that, the 90 second countdown is beginning. That was pipe number two. Pipe number three, I still haven't found it at this point, but since that one was incorrect, and I guess it's also after the fire pit, right? And I actually missed it, see? You heard you did you hear that error sound? That means that you missed the correct pipe. So this is it. And this will take me to the water area. I hate the water area. Those freaking squid enemies are assholes. I almost died there. And I died. So there's actually a technique to avoid the squid there. I think you will see it on this attempt now. I have two lives left. And a lot of minutes remaining for this episode. So you can see where this is going. There's a DMX Goombas. So just hop on here, the first pipe. Second pipe after the hidden block. Which is gonna be here. That elevated pipe there. Okay. And then, the last pipe is the one, again, after the lava pit. And the fire pit. Here comes the watery area. So the technique is actually to... I don't know if I learned it. I obviously did not learn the technique in that life. And I'm down to my last attempt. For this set of lives. Now of course, as you can imagine, my morale was really down here. Because I did not even see Bowser. And meant that I would have to repeat the entire World 8. I was hoping to at least see Bowser uh, and see what's up, right? So that I know what to expect when I retry again. Mario is not easy. It's pretty difficult. But I'm confident that because back then, during the nest days, I was pre-teen, you know? I was a kid. I'm confident that if I were, were in my teens back then, I would have finished the game. 
Yeah. I am fully aware that you only have one set of lives. No continues. But everyone had had to deal with that difficulty, you know? Everyone had to adapt. And I think I would have too. Of course, I can't do that anymore because I don't have an S. And it's now the modern times. Today we are trained to have continuous and retries and saves and reloads. So after the water area, you have the damn hammer, bro. And just like that, Time to go back to 8-1. So here we are in 8-1. Again. So of course, as you can imagine, like, like Dark Souls, like Demon Souls, like Bloodborne, you want to immediately head back to where you died, right? Where you last, you know, lost your progress. You want to go back there and retry again. So I was trying to rush it this time. And you know what happens when you try to rush it? I guess you're gonna find out! So there's nothing there. But I know that there was a hidden block here. See? Yeah, but I didn't... I didn't find anything but coins. Okay. So I just said effort. I don't need no coins. There was a star here? Yeah. Okay, so I almost fell. Not to worry. Yeah, so run straight through, run straight through. I don't know if I'm gonna make it without any loss of life. Loss of life here. Let's see. And I made it. So 8-1, pretty easy. 8-2, however, I think I have bad memories of this. So let's take a look what happened. There's a cloud asshole throwing piece of crap. Crap monsters. I, I don't know what that guy's called. If you know, please post in the comments. If you haven't already. And there's my 1-up. It's okay to die as long as you get the 1-up first. Because it, it will just reset everything back to, you know, how you started the level. So I was trying to rush it because I wanted to go back to 8-4. That's what happens. You die. You die. Back to five lives. Go back at the beginning of 8 2. Okay. Coins, and then go 41 up, Mike. Go get it. And I haven't really mastered the timing on this spring block here, I, I have to be honest. Good thing there was no insane challenge involving the spring blocks. Okay, so there's my 1-up. It's okay to die. I was checking if there was any mushroom there, but I guess not. Or maybe I just missed it. And I put myself in a very dangerous situation right there. So back at the beginning we go. And there you go. The first death that cannot be undone. Back to four lives. So goodbye. The fifth life status. It's gone. My new basis for lives. miss it this time and just like that three lives my new baseline of course I'm starting to get frustrated at this point because I did not have too much problem in my first set of lives and now we're down to two lives 
Things are really looking good for me here. So you think I'm gonna beat the game in this set of lives? I think you see where this is going, right? This can't be good. And I finally got the one up, so that's three lives now. For anyone taking notes. There was a, a mushroom here, right? There you go. At least that's some insurance. And goodbye insurance. Goodbye Mario. So I'm... I was obviously rattled here, I could not focus. I was messing up all over the place. Nothing can good, nothing good can happen. If you're, if you're feeling frustrated on any game. Got a one up. And now, time to get the mushroom here. My insurance policy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh no. Bullet Bill does it again. And there you go. A new baseline. One life left. I think... Did I even attempt to finish this level? Let's see. No, yes, I did not quit. I did not give up. So there's the one-up. Time to get it again. I don't throw away my life, you know? Every life counts. Kissed by Bullet Bill. So I still am not giving up here. And I finally killed Mr. McCloud, asshole. Asshole McCloud. Okay, I, good thing I did not knock back the one up there. Up to the opposite direction. Time to get the timing right here to get my insurance policy. And just like that, it's gone. But at least I still have two lives. Right? I can do this. I'm sure plenty of folks have done it, no? Beating the game with only one life. I think people have done it. <laughs> I can't believe what happened there. I just... I just fell. Nothing fancy about that. I just fell and died. So for some reason, I really had... A hellish time with 8-2 in the second set of lives. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, man. I don't know what happened. But you're seeing it all. That's what happened. Time to get a mushroom. Will I lose it this time, though? And I think this is the furthest I've gone with Big Mario in time, right? I, I had two lives. I successfully topped that one. 
but the turtle just kissed my ass and I fell again. So you can imagine the frustration building up inside me at this point. Now can you beat a difficult game with that much frustration inside you? So some are saying that there are physics differences between this version and the NES one. So I don't know if it, it's a big, it's a, it's a significant thing, but I just died there, and that's goodbye to those set of lives. Time to go back to 8-1, and maybe you know fare a little better this time. Those coins are just so plentiful, huh? One, two. They're really generous with the coins. Look at that Hydra cloud at the background. Still haven't. I was gonna say I still haven't died in 8-1, but there you go. Straight into the gutter. find them. I'll never know. But in my in my story there were no stars there. 8-1 is complete. Now <laughs> back to the dreaded 8-2 with four lives. I lost one in 8-1. Do you wanna? Will this be a good start? No, it isn't. Straight into the gutter again. And damn, that was my first attempt for 8 2 in this set of lives. Things were not looking good. Mr. McCloud there giving me some problems. Did not get the right jump. Still not. Still can't. There you go. Okay, good job. And there goes my one up. Okay, back to four lives. Oh, bad idea. Now, how do I get the big mushroom? I did not. As you can see, I just said F it. Went straight through. I don't need no big mushroom. My mushroom is pretty big already as it is. Good jump. And okay. And I died. Thanks to that turtle. But that was that was not a bad attempt, right? I got pretty far. Was a good attempt, I should say. So I wonder why Miyamoto, you know, chose turtles to be the 
the animal enemies of the game. Because Goombas aren't animals, right? Turtles. Turtles are evil in Mario. For some reason. Yeah, I got a big mushroom. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. That was a pretty close call there. Just book it. Okay. Will I finally complete 8-2? After an astronomically large number of lives, lives lost. And that was a close call there. Here comes a turtle! Okay, good job. And I think this is it, right? 8-2 is complete! Finally! The last Platforming level. 8 dash 3. Here we go. Castle walls in the background. The princess is waiting. It's time to step up and just do this. And goodbye. Goodbye to that life. Three lives until game over again. The easiest way for me to kill the Hammer Bros is when they're on the second level. There's a mushroom. Big Mario is back. Being very careful, as you can see there. Every life counts. And here comes Hammer Bros Part 2. Just missed that guy. It's just you and me, bro. I'm actually bigger than the hammer, bro. And he got me. He killed me there. And I missed the freaking mushroom. Can you believe that? Well, what can you do? Just move on, right? And that technique was actually done on the fly right there. Just jump over the hammer bros. But I got killed. I got killed. And now two lives remain. How can I even finish this game with just two lives? And I'm still in 8 3. So I was very anxious here because I did not want to repeat everything again. Especially 8 2. Two lives left. I, I would say luck plays a very important role in games like this, right? No, not everything is always the same when you attempt various areas of the game, right? Luck is a factor. Larger than you probably think. But of course, skill is, skill is very important as well. Luck alone will not make you finish the game. Okay, A3 is done. Back to the final level. Have to be very careful. Two lives left. Okay. So I don't remember when it will happen exactly, but at some point I will pause the game because I wanted to take a break. 
and then I also paused the recording because I was gonna take a break. When I came back, when I restarted the recording, my voice is back. Okay, so the commentary that you will hear after I pause the game will be live commentary. That was when I was playing the game. Okay. Okay, here we go. Final life. Do or die. Just me and you, Hammer Bro. Just me and you. Whoa! Bye bye! Hey! That's it! Thank you for coming, Bowser. You're dead. And there's the princess. That was real lucky. It just it just ran all the way. Good thing Bow Bowser jump. I had the wherewithal to not jump until I get past him, and we're done. What do you mean a more difficult guest? All for that kiss by the princess. You don't need a mushroom to grow your kiss by the princess if you know what I mean so that's it that's the end of Super Mario Brothers the all-star edition thank you for joining me in my first solo series it was a fun game difficult extremely difficult near the end you need a lot of luck a lot of patience and a lot of mastery on the levels but now it's over and I can say that I finally finished a Mario game so thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. And join us for our other series in Never Play. This has been Super Mario Brothers. Signing off. We're back in World Dash 1. See you next time.